slight little swerve. Foul. Yeah. You miss. You had to swerve that. John Higgins, six. Well, from my recollection, that's the third time in the match already where he's caught a colour before a red. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with this one. The pink is a full ball towards Bolt. Yeah, and then, yeah, that one, yeah. Right. Half a ball towards Bolt. Right, okay. And then the red that's near the cushion. Yeah. A full ball out this way. And then a full ball back towards Bolt. That looks about right now. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good, yeah. No, that looks about right. Yeah. Go on, Tatiana. <laughs> she deserves a round of applause. Not right. Oh, the cue ball it's not has right. to. There was a, there was a red, white. It's not right. Cube, it... No, no, the cue ball, the cue ball. Yeah. Go back to the cue ball. Right, the cue ball is half a ball towards towards that way. No. A bit more. Yeah. Right, okay, that looks fine now. No, because you can only just see, you can only just clip the reds. Not so sure about the pink, it's, though. It's not right. Either the pink is not right, so you only could just clip the reds. You'll have to agree that with the players, because I yeah. can't see, okay. it must be minute distance. Yeah. Yeah. Worth mentioning here, not every match on the Pro Tour has a marker these days. Mm. It's a virtual impossibility for the referee to do this correctly without the guidance of the marker. Done. OK. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> nice to see a little smile from Yan Bing Tao. Cuba could be down close to this corner pocket. This time, I think Jan has enough of this red down the left-hand side. He could take this red on. Well, he's refused it. Now, what has he left? Is there a red on? Maybe a two-ball plant. This is not a gimme, this plant. It's not dead set, so he's got to create a little angle. Running into the black as well. No, oh, he's played it nicely. One. John Higgins, one. One. Well, it was of a fluke, so I suppose there is a degree of karma there. Young Bin Tower, five. Yeah, good shot. One. Now, yeah, how's your look? Needs to go by the blue. Oh, just about. That's okay. 43. John Higgins, 8 That's a shame, but with the highest break of the match, John Higgins is back on level terms. Battle is joined here in Bolton. One. That, Ken, is one of his fortes, that plain ball shot from mid-distance.
Okay, I'm bent out six. I think he's contemplating taking this red on and trying to check the cue ball off the side cushion and get on the black. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. One. Beautiful. <laughs> the two reds above the pink and red are available into the right corner. That's what he'd be trying to get on here. So he's got to inject a little bit of pace into the shot. It's tricky. Oh, well played. Excellent shot. Very, very good. Seventeen. He's got a nice angle on the black here now. He can try and play a little Take cannon into those three reds just below the black here. Nice work there, nicely. Beautiful shot. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Oh, that's Thirty-two. Thirty-three. He's on it perfectly, if it does go. Mm. He would love to pop that red, but if there's an, any element of doubt, and of course there is, too risky. Forty-one. Yeah, maybe it needs to be a little bit lower with the cue ball. Almost in line with the pink. Let's see. A slightly better angle this time. 48. May have to use a little trace of left-hand side on the cue ball here. Yeah, slight little trace. That's a good shot. 49. Slightly better angle this time. 48. May have to use a little trace of left hand side on the cue ball here. Yeah, slight little trace. That's a good shot. 49. Classy break this has been. He got in with a tremendous red. 55. And the rest of it has been typically top notch. This has been an excellent break. We saw how congested the table was when he 62. got his chance and he's worked this really, really 63. well indeed. That's brain ball. Higgins about to hit the front for the first time. Yan Bing Tao could win this frame with 
one snooker and a free ball. So that's why being John circumspect Higgins is the right thing for John Higgins to do. Well, Jan concedes that wasn't the highest break of the match, but it was the best, the most sweetly compiled John Higgins 4-3. No, oh, beautiful. One. Beautiful pop. He's a four-time world champion. Needs something to happen. Three. Four. Mm, not a good angle. Nine. Ten. Must make sure it's imperative that he's short on the blue to leave himself a nice angle. Sixteen. And that's much better. Must hit the pink almost full ball here. And lots of power. And you see him parting the bottom on the cue ball. Now, how's your look? It's not bad, okay. I don't think you can get directly at this red over the corner pocket, but he still has this red into the right centre. There's a little bit of pressure on this. Fantastic. Well played. Struck it with lots of authority, didn't he? He can cope with pressure, he's shown that. I'd like him to go into the pack of reds here, just a little glance into them. Doesn't have to go in very hard. No, he's refused it. That surprises me, because he had the insurance policy of the red over the corner pocket. He could have tried to just bring one or two of those reds in the pack. Twenty-eight. Yeah, nicely played. This is important break for Yan Bing Tao. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Oh, that was an heavy one. Didn't get into the cue ball at all there. This red pots, but it's going into the pack of reds. Oh, he played it very well. Another excellent shot. He's got tremendous bottle, this young man. He's got bags of patience, 51. much like a veteran, but the big difference, he's not got the same scar tissue that you get from a career of disappointment. 52. Well, he needed a, a response, and he's duly obliging. This 59. is wonderful. John Higgins 60. has posed the question. <laughs> yeah, and has come up with the answer. Just this black cord. Well played. Very well played indeed. I'd like to knock in this red just to stop John Higgins coming back to the table. Very well played. 68. <laughs> Jan Bintao, 70, and different. The mistake using the rest, but it came far too late to save John Higgins. Once again, we are all tied up. 35. 36. And this is the shot. Black into the corner. Lots of top spin on the cue ball. Almost got to arc the cue ball into the pack. Yeah, there was the little Eric Houses look. Ooh, I think the red has gone too far to the right centre. I don't think that's cuttable. 43. Foul. John Higgins, 43. Jan Bintao. Useful break, which ended with a real elementary blunder. Oh, 
that's another mistake from John Higginson, an unlikely one. Pretty straightforward, that safety shot. What sort of an angle has Yang got on this red? Can he drop down for the black? Doesn't look like it. Oh, he can. He can, and he's held it very well indeed. There was a little grimace when he looked at the red. He thought he may be going into that red just on the way down. Just managed to avoid it. Hole for the black. Excellent shot. Eight. Nine. Sixteen. Seventeen. Mm, he was going up for blue there. He put his hand up to apologise to his opponent. Had a little bit of a result there. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Doesn't look phased at all. Thirty. It almost looks like he's relishing the pressure. Wonderful attributes to have. Thirty-one. Lots of left-hand side to get up for those two reds beside the pink. Now, how's the side? Very, very good. Excellent shot. Just watch the side. As soon as it hits the cushion, the angle widens. Beautiful shot. 39. 46. <coughs> the red just below the black. I feel that would be his better option. Yeah, he's held it very nicely. Doesn't want to be straight. 51. Looks like he's got a nice angle. He's got just about enough. Oh, wow. Yan Bintao, 51. Wow. Well, that surprised me, Phil. I just thought he had enough angle on that red. And he could have used a little bit of right-hand side. Perfect angle on this brown. He can drop behind this red or try and dislodge it from the cushion. The fact that it's on the right hand side for a right hander, may just drop behind it. Yeah. This looks pretty good. Five. This is the shot. Six. The wrong side of the blue. Three cushions back up for this yellow into the same pocket. Avoid the pink. Now, how's the pace? Needs to go. Needs to go. A little bit short. 11. Absolutely pinpoint. Sixteen. Again, just slightly <laughs> over screwing. Twenty. The cue ball knotted. Higgins is back in call, Ken. Oh, once again, Phil, the adrenaline. It's there. There's the cue ball. 25. One final examination to be passed. Position. 
internationally. It wasn't a magical cookies by the wizard. But you know, you get the feeling that might just do the trick. Higgins back in front at 5-4. A wonderful shot. Sixteen. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Black is available into both corner pockets now. This is too far. He's lost the cue ball. 59. One. A much better pop than it looks, but where is the cue ball? No. John Higgins, one. Yeah, it was a chance. Slim one. So 58 in front. Making sure of this red, that's one. 59. Black will be 66. Excellent shot. For a final frame. Nine. And we'll play with the end Jan Bintao, 14, and different. The nod from Higgins. As Saturday night turns into Sunday morning, these two will be trying to avoid the equivalent of the Monday morning blues. Whoever loses this will be sick. Out as the best of 11, now it's down to just a single frame shootout. Absolutely loving every minute of this, as much as we are Phil, here in the commentary box. Good break off from John Higgins. The most absorbing match of the tournament. Not the highest quality, but it's edge of seat stuff with so much at stake. Shot time. Coming up to 120. I don't blame him for this. This is. Gotta work this out. Doesn't want to leave John a free shot here. Oh, that's not too bad. He'll settle for that. Excellent. <laughs> Yan Bing Tao, no stranger to post-midnight snooker, famously at the Welsh Open. He started a match as a teenager, ended it as a 20-something. Fantastic shot. Oh, he's a little bit wary, maybe pushing a ball towards a corner pocket when you play an aggressive safety like that. He has left John Higgins this red into the bottom right corner pocket. He's just coming down to see, can he avoid the black and red? He's taking it on. Higgins has suffered bitter defeats in deciding frame finishes in two consecutive finals. First against Mark Allen in Northern Ireland, then against Neil Robertson at the English Open. Ah, oh, that's such a good shot. Bro. do about it he played a decent safety shot seventeen a little cannon on the red 
just left of the pink and he'll have a couple of reds into this bottom left hand corner pocket oh he's missed the cannon look at the gap he's gone through wow 24. With mountain pressure. Anywhere on the left hand side of the table, he'll have a choice of three or four reds here. Oh, you yeah, will, Jan. Pink tail, get another chance. Yes. That you won. It's okay. Tried to play on that same red. Tried to get a cannon on that middle red of the tree, left of the pink. Thirty-nine. Waiting with bated breath to see what he's going to do next. So I haven't used the spider. Played. He took his time over it, but he needed to. He struck that beautifully. Perfect on this red. Final frame decider for a place in tomorrow's final. Not a good shot there. Forced an angle there to get out for that red. So 62 ahead, 83 62. remaining. Sixty-three. So this is the key shot. He's gonna have to play a cannon. It could go wrong. This is Jan's last chance, he would feel. It's not ideal. 68. It's not ideal. I need a full ball cannon on that red. Just got to hit the right hand side of it. <laughs> what a way to win this match on a double. He's probably the best in the world at getting those doubles, and what a timely one for him. 75. You feel sorry for Yan Bing Tao. He's played a huge part in this match. 76. This has been an excellent break. 83. He'll be feeling a million dollars. Eighty-nine. No century for Frankly. Who cares? John Higgins is a giant of this game. And in a battle of epic proportions, in the end, the wizard slays the tiger. 6-5, classic.